Welcome back to Applied Materials and Corrosion. Here I've got uh, some phosphate buffered saline here. You can see a copper electrode that I've heated up. It's got a brown oxide on it. And the other one is shiny copper because we're going to see the difference in voltage between copper oxide on copper and shiny copper. So this red one is attached to the red. The um, oxidized one is attached to the blue. And we're going to put them in you can see again the difference in colour, apparent colour. So it's effectively a very bad reference electrode. Because a reference electrode would be very similar. We will see that in a moment. Now we can see that we've got minus 60 millivolts. So we've got a difference in voltage between the two. It will be reasonably con constant. But if we leave it for a very long time, the other electrode will uh, sort of catch up. So the oxide layer will convert into whatever is the lowest energy in this solution, and an oxide layer will form on the other one. And so we'll end up with the same on both sides. Obviously, if we make that really, really thick, the amount of time that we can keep that constant is bigger because what's really happening is we've got a difference in potential between the uh, copper oxide and the, and the copper zero and that's providing a constant potential. The other one is copper dissolving into the solution, which is also providing a constant potential because it's the same solution and it's just a very low concentration. Copper is very stable here. Um, it is saline, but it's buffered, so we're not running away in um, pH. So we would expect this to eventually settle down It'll take a long time, but it'll eventually settle down and we would see a difference in voltage between the two. Um, but it won't be very high because obviously um, the, even the shiny one has a little bit of oxide on the surface so that they're, they're not that different. Okay, so we're going to stop here because we're going to go to reference electrodes, but this is effectively a reference electrode of copper with a solid copper oxide on it, can interact with the copper oxide which is holding the voltage at a constant potential. The other one is not very constant because it's copper dissolving, so the copper concentration is running away from us the whole time, and the concentration can go up in decades, so it can go up quite a lot. As you can see, there, it, the difference is going down and down and down as the electrodes become more and more similar because they're really not very good reference electrodes. Um, right, okay, that'll do.